This show is called The Hard Way and it tells the story of Hannah Mitchell. Hannah Mitchell was born in rural poverty. She grew up on a hill farm in Derbyshire and she has an incredibly inspirational story of how she came from these beginnings to teach herself and to learn and to grow and to become an extraordinary woman. Hannah is an untold story of a, a working class and a northern woman uh, over a hundred years ago at times when to have gone from an illiterate beginning on a farm in the remote Peak District to end her life as a magistrate. It feels like it needs to be celebrated in a year when we are celebrating women. There is a world beyond these peaks, past the cairns and the crookstones, past the weak shale and the grit stone, calling me destiny. Know your place to the house you're bound. Sweep and scrub, make and mend. So I had a grant from the English Folk Dance and Song Society to work with Belinda O'Hooley as a songwriting mentor and Belinda is somebody I've respected for many years so to have the opportunity to sit down and talk about Hannah's story and how I might present that has been fantastic. It's such a new uh, way of working, method of working for me to go from no petticoats here and telling a, a whole person's story in a song to telling one person's story over the process of a whole show um, and finding the, the moments when those songs can really help and support people to engage with what Hannah achieved. So it's, it's, it's been great to have support from Belinda with that and to work with Stephanie as well. I'm not a musician and I'm not a singer. My understanding of folk singing is that folk singing tells stories. Mm. And of course, theatre is telling stories. We're all telling stories. It's exciting to think, well, how do we how do we blend these two ways together to reach a broader audience, but to also make kind of a richer experience? Hannah wanted to show that women were equal to men, whether they were treated the same or not. Hannah was there to demonstrate that she had value and she could contribute. It's very important in 2018, 2019, to tell the story of Hannah Mitchell because there still isn't equality and I'm very fascinated to think what Hannah might have made of all of this, but in a climate where, where women are still pushing to even get to 50% of representation in the House of Commons, Hannah was so far ahead of her time, or we're just very far behind our times, perhaps, but the, the idea that Hannah was able to become a public figure, to, to take that power for herself and make space in the public arena for somebody in her situation so that she could support other people from a working class background, other women, to also feel that they could have that value and they could step alongside with Hannah.